Hello guys, I am bringing you guys back to this corn field that I started it uh, in my backyard. Uh, this was planted in um, May 6th and today is June 5th. Uh, so it's about one month uh, and we can see how they are doing so far. I am going to upload, um, I'm going to post a, a picture um, of how they look like when I transplant it. This is what they look like right now. Uh, there are the grass and weeds growing up. Uh, I'm just gonna leave them, you know, when I have a chance, I will take them out. But they're not doing much harm to the corns. Um, so they're not really even. You can see us, uh, there are some, you know, that grows pretty big. These are like just picking up. Um, and I also in, installed it an irrigation system so I don't have to you know come here and water them every day uh, and this is uh, the gateway to the raccoon this is where the raccoon come from from next door um, I mean I I have tried to block it they just dig through it uh, I have another spot that they they used to go through I bought it up with wood um, but then they they just take up another hole right next to the wood so uh, I'm just gonna leave it let them come um, yep this is the first one and I have another one over here all right Yeah, looks like they're doing really well. Um, it's been sitting here for, you know, the first two weeks, it wasn't doing much. Uh, I was a little concerned, but, you know, it looks like all they need is just some hot weather. It's been hot the, the, the last um, couple of weeks or two weeks. Um, and they are just doing well right now. Yep. So that's it for the coins. Um, Today, I am going to be working on this. So this is a new um, waste bag that I built yesterday with scrap woods and whatever I found in my garden. Uh, the reason I'm building this is because there are some tomato plants that needs to be transplanted. Um, so I have two tomato plants. These are cherry tomatoes. As you can see, the woods are growing out. Uh, they've been overdue for like the longest time. I just haven't had have time to to deal with them. Uh, so same thing like this one, as you can see. Yeah, but I've been pruning them. You know, I took out the the lower leaves um, and I removed some of the suckers from them. Yep. So today's job is to transplant these cherry tomatoes. into this new bed that I did yesterday. All right, let me set you guys down and show you guys how I do it, the way that I learned from the internet. Okay, so here's the two cherry tomato plants. Uh, they are way overdue for transplanting. Uh, it's, you know, you, you can see the, they already have flowers coming out too. Uh, but anyways, you know, I am gonna transplant it today. I don't wanna hold this any longer. The woods are like growing out like crazy. All right, so um, I'm just gonna put one over here. Take up the soil. Take this guy out, squeeze it a little bit, take it out. Okay, so usually people just plant it like this, uh, and this is how I did it last year. Um, I didn't find any problem with it, it grows well. Um, but, you know, recently I just learned that you can plant it sideways 
why because um, every single one of this fur is going to be turning into a root if you bury them into the soil um, so if you plant it like this um, this will become root and then it will have more roots going down into the soil looking for nutrients then you end up with a bigger plant more tomatoes um, the a lot the, there's another way that people do um, is just plant it like this but plant it really deep so you know it cover all the way up here and then this will become roots and going down and look for nutrients um, you know the the way I think about it, you know, both of both works. They should work, and this is the first time I'm trying it. Um, but I think if you put it this way, there's more area it covers because the wood's coming in, coming out from here, and there's wood going out this way, so it covers more area. So I think it might do better, but I don't know. Uh, maybe we act, actually, maybe we can give it a try. So this one, I'm just gonna plant it deep. Um, plant it straight down deep like this and this one I'm going to lay it uh, sideways uh, like this okay so let's do that um, I'm just going to dig a really deep hole and then I'm going to put it sideways this soil is a little dry so I want to make sure I give them enough water Right, and then just cover it up and take out this leaf and put some soil here to support it and then make sure got them water down really well and then cover it up Okay, so just like this, a little bit come out. Uh, maybe I take out this leaf too. Yeah, take this out. And then give it some more water. Okay, that's one done. Okay, so this is the second one. Right, so I'm gonna take off this leaf and this one, I'm just gonna go straight down. Go really deep, probably until, until here. Uh, and this one already have flower. But uh, bundling up, there's no more room for it. Good time to transplant. I mean, I'm. It's overdue. Okay, maybe something like this. Yep. All right. Just gonna water it in. Put some soil around it. Okay, break up some of the soil. Okay, great, that's it. All right, it's been three weeks. Today is June 29th. Uh, let me show you guys what we have going on over here. Looks like the corns are doing really, really well.
All right, so after the updates on the coin, I'm gonna show you guys how the tomatoes are going. Uh, so these are the two tomatoes that we uh, transplanted about 23 weeks ago. Uh, this one, I planted it uh, sideways. So the stem goes like that. Uh, it doesn't look like it's doing much better than the other one. Uh, this one is just buried way, all the way down. So this is buried it uh, deeper. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe the sample is too small because I only have two. Um, you know, maybe it will help uh, if I have more to to show. You know, if you plant it sideways, you know, if you transplant this sideways with the stem uh, going sideways to give it more space for the rooting to go, uh, maybe that will help or maybe it will not. But um, anyways, you know. Um, this is how they're doing right now there's uh, flowers I come here every day to uh, use my toothbrush to my electrical toothbrush to hand pollinize them um, I don't see any I don't see any uh, small potatoes uh, tomatoes yet but we'll see Alright, thank you for watching today and I will see you guys next time.